Hey there, and welcome to another tutorial. Um, this is the requested um, camera mapping and projecting advanced tutorial. So we'll be covering um, we'll be covering something that looks like this. So let me go back. Uh, so it looks so this is the end result. This is of course with some After Effects color correction vignette. Uh, um, hue saturation stuff like that which you can do on your own own time um, the actual render looked like this picture viewer so this is the actual render so you can see there's a huge difference between this and what I just showed you um, I can totally do I probably will do a tutorial on how to how to do nice color corrections to make something in 3D actually look like look uh, blend in with a 2D um, photorealistic environment. Um, so we will just dive right in. Uh, okay. All right. So this is this is the project. If you look, it's the exact same thing as before. I did I did a few more tweaks. Um, I'll show you what I did. Uh, the very first thing that I did is I'm going to put this back to what I had before. So if you notice, everything is kind of squished if I render it real quick. Everything's all squished and weird. Um, what I did is I made a foreground element and I threw the texture on top of it and this is what it's supposed to look like. So this is what it came out like and this is what it's supposed to look like. So what I did was got rid of that I changed the um, the offset and the length so I'm gonna change the offset to 12.5 I found that was a good one for me it's, it'll be different for you guys and then 75 so everything lined up um, all of the uh, the walls lined up correctly which is exactly what we wanted um, Okay, so let's go ahead and do the mirror real quick. If you remember, if you remember, I did the mirror in the first one, but then, but then I decided to just go ahead and do it in the advanced. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do like all this trim, all the mirrors, all render real quick, all of, all of these. Um, get rid of any occlusion all of these pictures all of that we're not going to do any of that we're going to actually do this and then jump right into the dynamic um, part of this lesson so let's go ahead and name this cube and we want to bring it down like that so we're just going to guess how far out it's actually going to be extruded from the wall. And I'm going to make it into an editable mesh. I'm going to click on the rectangle tool. going to click on select only. uh going to deselect select only visible elements so I can actually grab vertices I can't see like that one. Um, I'm going to actually change the view. Just so I can see it better. Okay, and then let's bring this this way. Bring this this way. Bring both of these up. Up. I I didn't have a vertice selected, and, and I noticed that the uh, the fong was a little wacky. All right, and then I'm gonna duplicate that. To duplicate again is press control or option on the Mac, and then we're going to move these down a bit, move this in, and move this this way, and I'm thinking I'm going to move all of it up. No, I'm going to move it like that. So when you actually go by it, yeah, you can actually see it sticking through the wall. Um, okay. So... 
the next thing that we're going to do is originally I had the trim um, to do or uh, in the lesson but like I said let's just jump right into the dynamics which is much funner than modeling in my opinion it could be different from everybody else from everybody else's opinion mirror Okay, so we the first thing we'll do we'll add a little sphere. Boom. We're not gonna keep it that size, of course. I think I put it at 14. So we're just gonna raise it a bit. And we're, all, and we're also gonna bring it back. And we will go ahead and make a new new mat. Call this ball black ball black throw it on here boom double click this click reflection and then let's render it real quick and you notice that it's reflecting everything and some people may think oh okay I'll stop here we're, we're not gonna stop here um, you also notice there's a big gaping hole that's because tiling isn't on so we're gonna put tiling on boom and now you you'll see it reflecting everything. Um, okay, so what we'll do next is add a Fresnel onto this reflection, so you get a texture Fresnel. And I can go in depth what Fresnel does, but for right now we're just going to keep it. Um, well, real quick, what Fresnel does is, is it has a Gradient map. This is white. This is black. White is usually more trans, uh, more reflectiony than black. So if you look at it, it's more reflectiony here than in the middle. So we're going to change the specular as well to 14%. Um, just to have that small dot highlight. And like I said, some people may stop right here and be like, "Oh, this is beautiful," but we're not going to stop. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is. We're gonna bring this down a bit so it like touches the floor. And you notice, hey, it, doesn't, it still doesn't look that realistic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some ambient occlusion. It can be found here. Effect, ambient occlusion. Let's render it real quick. Now check it out. It has a shadow. It's pretty cool. It looks realistic. Uh, of course, none of this will render. It's whatever whatever was in the uh, within the red. Okay, so next we will uh, we'll go we'll jump right into the physics. So let's move this sucker up, boom, and we will add a simulation tag, rigid body, boom. Let's move him up over here, and you press F8. Oh my God, he's going through the wall, uh, going through the ground. That's perfectly normal. Don't worry about it. And then, then we're going for the walls and the mirror and all that. We're going to make a collider tag. Let's bring this over here. And we're going to duplicate, 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 duplicate. So that so when you press, when you press F8, it's going to hit and it's going to chill. So we're also what we're also going to do. We're going to name this ball real quick. Is Change the collision to I found 100% way too whoops 100% way too much so 90 and 50 90 for the bounce 50 for the friction we're gonna save it um, and now let's make a cloner we're holding down Alt or Option on the Mac and we're making a cloner go under linear go to grid array grid array and this part is uh, just just play around with what you feel like.